I tried to send an email then with the attachment. If you have a look down here, if you have a look here, it now only has the PDF, the name of the PDF itself. Previously, it had the word My Docs written in front of it, but that's disappeared. And it's now only got this name, PDF. And you see there, it's popped up and say saying that there is no attachments to be found. Why is this suddenly occurring? Well, this information is coming directly from your Windows settings. And Windows, if it's not translating this information correctly, Easy As cannot pick it up. This particular computer that I'm running this on at the moment is actually a Windows 8 operating system. We've tested this extensively, and Windows 8 has some big issues when it comes to this. It forgets what it's doing. It can't translate the information correctly. It doesn't want to do it. So what happens is, if you use the default settings, set in easy as, that say, just to print the information to the My Documents folder, Windows 8 sometimes can't even understand what's going on, and it just translates it and gives us back nothing. Because every time you go to send something, or you go to save something, it goes out, and out to Windows and says, oh, where's the My Documents folder? Oh, it's over here, and it saves it. But Windows 8 has a big issue translating it. And some of the other operating systems that will, of course, have the same issue, but it depends how they were set up. How do we get to overcome this? What's the easiest way to overcome all this? The easiest way to overcome this is to enter the information directly into the software. And I'll explain what I'm talking about. For me, I don't like any invoices or any reports or anything from Easy As being saved to the My Documents folder. I prefer to have all my reports, all my invoices, etc., saved to a separate folder. And in fact, I save a separate folder for each and every business. So I keep every business, every report, every invoice I print out goes to its own separate folder and is saved separately from one another. So when you set this up, when you, when you can actually tell Easy As. No, for every business profile, you can have a separate folder that the information is getting saved to. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to Windows and you need to create your folders. So naturally, you can jump in here and you can obviously go to your My Documents folder and create a completely new folder if you want. Create new folder and I'm going to call this test for this purposes, okay? So I can jump in here and I'll give create a new folder called test under My Documents. Or, alternatively, you might just want to create a folder on C Drive. In this case here, Smith's Business already has... I'll delete that because that was my test earlier. Smith's Business, I've already created a folder, separate folder for Smith's Business. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I'll jump back in here. If we have a look, click on Setup. It's got an icon here for Change Printing Directory. If I click Change Printing Directory, we will have a look here. And if you have a look here, you will see that My Documents is the default. So Easy As talks to Windows and says, where's the My Documents folder? And naturally, it's supposed to save all your reports and all your invoices to the My Documents folder. But as you saw a minute ago, it didn't do that. The easiest way to overcome that is to create your directory. So I click that little icon here. I'm now navigating my system. I'm finding... Smith's Business, I highlight it. Once I click on it, you can't open it. You just highlight it. Click OK. And see, it's put it in exactly where it is. It's put in the C dot colon, did it, did it, and it's put it in there. So now, when Easy As goes to save a report, it doesn't go out to Windows now. It just looks at that and says, ah, that's where you want it to go to. And it saves it instantly. And it will work. Now, Let's have a look at the other place I set up a second ago. Remember I said I did set one up in the My Documents? So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on Libraries. It's under Libraries it comes up as. Libraries, My Documents. It so happens that My Documents is on D Drive. That's how this computer is set up. I remember I had Test. I created one called Test. Where is it? Here. Click Test. Click OK. And see how it's gone over here? D Files, My Documents, Test. So... This computer is set up that the My Documents was actually all of this. So previously, 
each time Win Easy has tried to save a report, it would talk to Windows, and Windows is supposed to give it back this information. But if it doesn't do it, if it falls over, Easy has doesn't know where to put it. So now I've told it instantly to put this in the subdirectory called test, which is in the My Documents folder. So now I just that's it. I just want to put this here. Click close. And that's where it's going to go to. So if I click invoices now, and I click do we send this PDF via email, you'll see that it's now attached it. It tells me that this is where it's going to attach it. Well, this is where, sorry, it tells me that this is where the invoice is. Because remember, when it printed it, it prints it first, it printed it and saved it here. Now I'll prove that it's actually sitting there. There we are. Invoice number two. Okay, that's pretty subs that's pretty obvious. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to let you see that that actually works. I'm going to click send, and you'll notice that this this will go this time. Message sent, and there you go.